Hello, children! My name's Hillier2, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Heart of Iron 4 with Integralist Brazil. Yes, in the last episode. As you can see, we expanded quite a bit. The United States and Canada have both fallen. All pushed back all the way up to here. Poor Canada. And over here. Haida Gwaii? Is, what, is that a place? Oh, never heard of that. And the United States is pushed all the way back to Alaska and Hawaii and other islands down here. Now, the main goal now is to finish this series off with the destruction of the United Kingdom. They are the last major country against us right now. France has fallen. The United States has fallen. Uh, the British Raj, I don't know, is considered a major country. All I know is that they're at the top right now. And we need to take them out. Now, there are a couple problems with that. Uh, first problem is we need to get soldiers over here, first of all. Not sure how we're going to do that. Um, we could probably... Wh what I'm thinking is we could use paratroopers to possibly invade the... Oh, my God. Okay, so you know how I said we're going to use paratroopers? We're not going to do that. You see, what we're going to do... <laughs> Jesus Christ. What we are going to do... Alright, enemy ships... 32 to 38. In that area. They don't have many ships, really. Oh, yeah. They've lost a ton of ships. But dear Christ, the amount of planes they have, comparative to us, um, I suppose if we do it like this, yeah, we have 81 ships and three and a half thousand planes. Okay, um, problems then. I have no idea how we're going to get there. Where are all of our ships? All right, so we have a large amount of ships, uh, where? where? Where are they? Ah, a large amount of ships in California. Why are they in California? I don't know. But what I need to do, um, I need to group them all up. Group every single ship up. No, that's the second fleet. Uh, and the first fleet goes there. Group them up. And I may, pro I'm probably going to do this. I'm going to take over the United Kingdom over here. I'm going to pop over, take over Greenland, Iceland, and then go into Ireland. Once we get into Ireland, we'll have, there is an airport right here, or we can just straight up build airports. And then we can jump over to probably Scotland. Yeah, they, they don't have many planes up in Scotland. Jump over to Scotland. Invade there and just start pushing down. They shouldn't have much in the way of soldiers in the actual United Kingdom and the actual, you know, British Isles. Most of them, as you can see, are down here in Africa fighting off the Axis powers here. So, yeah, that is going to be... That's just going to take a while. That is going to take a long time. All right. So, now your new plan is to go from... Actually, no. Yeah, screw it. New plans from here over to here. We're just going to send them over there. Uh, once, of course, we take over the rest of Canada. Just make sure the British are out of the picture here. And how many more factories? 60 more factories. We need a lot more steel. No one has the amount of steel we need. We need so much steel right now. All right, but you know what? What you could straight up do, because we don't even need this many. Um, here. Why don't you go up and take Alaska? I can see Russia from my house. All right, all the way up there. Um, do we have resources up in Alaska? No. I thought we'd have some sort of oil. 
Yeah, but we seriously have so much steel. We're exporting 600 of it. So, let's see here. We're getting 55 from trade. We have plenty. Okay, we have plenty of, uh, of civilian factories. We could go to a closed economy or a very tiny economy of, of exporting things. We can get a lot of this steel back. Yeah, we could do that. Exporting a lot of tungsten as well. We don't need that, though. Not that much chromium. Good thing we aren't making tanks. All right. And the resistance in the United States, obviously, is going to be huge. So we're going to need a ton of soldiers. These guys... Oh, wow. Exactly 80. Good for me. All right. So you guys, congratulations, are going to be garrisoning the area. All of America. Hopefully that's enough. Probably won't be, but we'll try. Come on, click, 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 click. God damn it. I knew I'd do that. I knew I would do that. Okay, there, 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 there. Why is Virginia? No! Ew! Paradox, stop doing this. West Virginia is not part of Virginia. Virginia is way better. Right there, 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 there. And of course, freaking New England. But whatever. I understand that. All right. And they will own all of that. There you go. Now, heck, you don't even need 100,000. You just really just need this, this area. So, why don't, here, all of you can group up and you can take that. Oh God, he, he got a lot more. What did he get? Defensive Doctrine and Fast Planner. Cool. All right, so everyone over here, you're all joining up the mass with the massive American uh, garrison group. You also want to garrison Canada because I know the Canucks up here they're gonna be really angry. <laughs> My accent's amazing, isn't it? All right, there you go, and that lands, and eventually that lands, and of course eventually Canada, and eventually all of New Finland. There you go, and you are all assigned to that, so make sure you're all going there. And resistance, right. We want to make sure resistance is harshest everywhere. Are we losing a lot of political power? Oh, we're actually losing power. Crap. All right, we can stop influencing Venezuela and Peru. Cancel boost uh, popularity. Since America no longer exists, I don't think they're going to be increasing democratic uh, power. So it's all right. Oh, you know, more free dockyards as well. Well, as always, we're going to need more subs. So just get more then. All right. And, oh, crap. So you're going to need to do the plan again. So here. So here. Oh, but I totally forgot. We don't even have... Oh, we do. We do have some transport ships. Some. And the preparation time is going to take forever. Damn. Oh, we almost have nuclear bombs. That totally reminds me. We don't have any nuclear reactors. We're going to need those. We're going to need lots of those. All over Brazil. We're all over the southern portion because very little resistance here. All right. And make sure it's on the highest list. We need as many of those as possible. How long does it take? 1,500. God damn, we should have been making these before. Uh, we'll have them at September, which is I eight, I guess. Of course, we won't even be able to use them. I just want nukes for the sake of having nukes. And who's assigned? We're going to assign all of you guys. Only 70 days. That's okay. And our ships. Where are our ships? There they are. Go ahead. 
Get over there, ASAP. Japan, how are you not destroying the uh, British Raj at this point? Ooh, the fall of Cairo. Finally happened again. Oh, and oh no, the German Reich took over Palestine. Ugh. Sorry, Jews. Oh my god, we're helping Hitler. That's, that just sucks. But whatever. Currently, we have done 28% of the work. We have done more than twice Italy and Japan combined. Yeah. Basically, it's German Reich, Italy, and us have done almost all the work. Somehow, Japan has not done a lot of the work. I don't know. I don't even know. Oh, we actually have lots of bombing. Yeah, we've done 965 out of 1,000 bombing. And the occupation is also huge. They have double the occupation. And casualties, we have almost as many casualties, so... The UK has only done 38% of the work. What about the rest? Ah, Denmark, of course, and Ireland. Oh, Ireland's already a part of the Allies? I didn't even know that. Well, this makes our uh, life a lot easier. Or harder, actually. Probably harder. They only have two, apparently. And again, I'm going to safely assume that the British do not have many people in their homeland, so... So right now, we're going to want to increase this landing craft technology. We're going to need a lot of good landing crafts. Alright, excavation 4, finally done. Let's... Hmm. Already done with that. Done there. Um, best... We get best night vision. I guess we could do that, yeah. All right, can we actually do that? Do we have naval superiority? No, no one's actually patrolling the area. Where is that 60? All, all those ships. Where would they go? Damn, stop going to the west coast. Where are you? All the way up there, why are you all the way up there? And then, Oh no, what happens? Wait, who died? Oh my god! Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about those guys. There was. <laughs> ah! Yeah, that's the power of our submarines, everyone. Oh my god. The dis we sunk two destroyers out of six, and one survived, and then we lost 60. I'm sorry, I actually hit the microphone there. Okay, so that just happens. Fantastic. So, um, you guys go crazy and, uh, oh, press the wrong button. Go crazy here, go here, here, and here. And, okay, how are the British up here? We have some Italian, ooh, we have Italians and, uh, Nazis up here as well. How's resistance? Resistance is very minor. Oh no, Nevada. We're gonna lose, you know, Las Vegas. How sad. Whatever. Um, you know, I, I could probably just do this with one person. The whole problem is this, just jumping over to the UK. I wish the AI understood how to do um, paratroopers and airdrops, because dear Christ, it would make it, Germany would finish it so quickly, like so quickly. And hey, the um, we're about to destroy the Danish, the Denmark, yeah. All right, so since we got all that excavation. We're not importing any. Really? Uh oh. Ah! They did a closed economy now! Damn. Thank you, German Reich! We didn't. We didn't need that steel, anyways. That's probably why we're not getting any, is because they.
closed it down. All right, well, close that since we're not sending them any. Great. Well, we have 279, which really helps. Wait, we have 279 and it's 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 5. That doesn't seem right. That uh, does not seem right at all. Yeah, they have 7,000 planes in southern England right now. Oh, and there goes Copenhagen. That means Denmark. Denmark has capitulated. Good for us. Good for us indeed. Uh oh. Wait, where? Wh oh no! Oh! We lost again because the freaking Canadians are up here. Freaking Canadian Navy. I mean, granted, our Navy sucks, but there's a reason, you know. I never thought that we would need Navy. Oh, the human wave offensive gives us 5% more people? Where is it? Human wave. Oh, wow. Recruitable population, 5%. That is a massive boost. That's good. All right. Well, I hope you guys can actually invade. Jeez, that sucks. All right, yeah, very, very little amounts of resistance. And who's the guys who are supposed to go up here? Ah, okay. Let's break you off on your own little guy. Let's just take over. All of Alaska, just cuz. Cuz I want Alaska. I want to say I own all of North America. Or basically, the important parts of North America. Cuba is not important. I'm kidding. Don't hate me, Cubans. <sighs> that sucks. That just sucks. 901 factories. Dear God. Wait, we have, yeah, we have war economy, which means consumer goods factories. It's only 15%. That's weird. Hmm. Alright, we're still losing political power. Because of the occupations. Damn it. I need you guys to invade the UK. Seriously, this this war would never end if it wasn't for my intervention. They, they never invade the UK. I find that that's kind of a problem. Like, is, is that not a problem? Do people not realize that you need to invade the UK to end the war? <sighs> Great. All right, are you guys prepared? You are indeed prepared. Go launch. Go crazy. Yeah, we're all going to die in that one. Hopefully, they don't see me and they just let me pass. I don't even understand how they can have a navy. They don't exist. Distract them, navy. Please distract them. Please. Please. Just, just let me win. Good. They distracted them. That means I'm going to win. Or I'm going to take over Greenland. Which I guess is winning. Alright. And... Come on. Come on. Boom. Brazil is now in Greenland. Yes, you heard that right. Alright. So now we're going to want you... Or we're really just planning the naval invasion. The Reykjavik. Yeah, words, hard. Especially when they're Danish. Or Icelandic, I guess. But you can launch whenever you want. And is that just one big? No. Okay, that's what I thought. Actually, scratch that. You, the greenie, can just go here. Go there, then there, then there, then there. Then loop back. 
That's all you need to do. Oh, and you're uh, Venezuelan too, so it, it especially doesn't matter. Right. You go, combat unit destruction. Good. Now we move on to ground support, I guess. Now, notice how I'm only sending one. I probably should have done this with Greenland, too. I'm sending one so that he can take over the port, and then we get to send them all. It's a lot quicker. We just do it so much more simple. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, like, look at how many... Yeah, there aren't that many nations left in the world. Most of them are in the Axis or allies right now, so... Okay, let's cancel that, then, since we're not importing anything. We're saving a lot more now. We're not importing anything now, which because freaking Italy and Germany decide, yeah, we're just going to stop all exports. Which is fantastic. And by fantastic, I mean it's stupid. That just screws all of us over. The idiots. Alright, okay, hopefully they don't... Do they even have soldiers? They have one soldier. Hopefully it's not in Reykjavik. 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 How do you say that? I don't know. Alright, I don't think there is. Great! And once we take this over... Boop! Just move around, take over... Ooh, there is indeed... An airport. Alright. Alright, all of you get over there now. No, 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 no. You all go there. And then you can, uh, yeah, whatever. Still trying to fight that, huh? And they're still trying to invade me, apparently. Oh, that's where we lost the battleship. Dang. That sucks. Whatever. Alright. Uh, when do we finish those nuclear bombs? We could nuke... No, we can't nu nuke London. We could nuke uh, the United Kingdom, though. Definitely, yeah. London is heavily secured. Actually, not as secured as I thought. It's only 1,400 now. Alright, they put them all in the English Channel, which is... Okay. Do we even have any tacti tactical bombers? Yeah, we do. That's what we're making, right. Making lots of those. Wait, how many... We have 81,000 infantry equipment. Why do we need an infantry equipment? We don't need it. Whatever. All right. You all return back there. No one's invading me, right? All right. And we are now finally taking over. Oh, uh, no, we can't. Because the Americans actually secured freaking Alaska. They're, they have Alaska. They control Alaska better than they controlled everywhere else. How are you not? Oh, hey, we saw people in uh, Mexico. Oh, wait, how, how do you not have? Your resistance is so high, but we have three people in there. Whatever. So our three brigades, more than three people. Yeah, it's gonna take forever for you to get back. All right, there is going to be a new plan for invasion. Do we seriously not have enough supplies? No, that's over there. What are our supplies here? No, no, what are you, what? What are you doing? Who told you to make a plan? There is no plan there. Ah, damn it. All right, so this can hold 200 airplanes, which is A-OK. -okay. Oh my god, we have 781 strat bombers. <laughs> I think that's enough. I think that is plenty. All right, where is our transports? All right, transports. All over here. Guess what? Iceland. And... Actually, no, we have... We can just make fighters in there. So, let's just say that's 50. So, we're going to have... This many fighters join the battle. There we go. Awesome. They shall escort them. 
So, you guys going to declare war in Finland or something? Or are you just going to just gonna sit around, I guess? Whatever. All right, let's get an advanced oil plan. What does that even do? Oh, just make, gives you more oil and more rubber per thing. All right. Oh, look at that axis. Yeah, I'd say the axis has definitely won this war. The only continent we're not influencing is Oceania. Oh, we're at 2% now. Ooh, buddy, buddy boy. We're at 1.3 per day. So in about two months, we shall have our first nuke. Huzzah. Now, historically, the war would have ended already. But, of course, Japan owns all of Siberia, so I guess historically, nothing is true in this. Alright, experimental rockets are finished. Let's get rocket engines. Let us get the rocket engines. Alright, so, fighters, stay up here. Make sure you have air superiority. Just in that area. And everyone get over here. All right, but you know what? You could totally just plan a naval invasion to the Faroe Islands. Yeah, you can launch. And then we also want to get paradropped. We can't paradrop anywhere close enough. All right, so never mind the paradropper, paratroopers. Uh, they're all useless. God damn it. Whatever. We can deal with it. We can deal with it. Alright, you get better landing craft now. Let's get the advanced landing craft. We are launching, correct? Uh, stop and launch. Oh, wait. Control click. Oh. You're not launching. Why aren't you launching? Let's cancel that. Your new plan. No, no. There to there. You alone are assigned. Launch whenever you're ready. We only need three days to launch, or three days to plan. And you're not going. Why aren't you going? Are there enemy ships in the area? No. Oh, hey, the, the patrol. Hey, why don't you patrol there and there? Now on. Oh, there you go. We just needed ships. Apparently, we already had ships in the area. Some reason, somehow, some way. So, are there ships in this zone? Yes. Perhaps we can paradrop. I don't know. I really don't know. That could be a situation. Take of the Faroe Islands. Probably the last bit of uh, Danish lands, I'm assuming. And then they're finally finished off. Awesome. Alright, but you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Hopefully in the next episode we can somehow begin the invasion of the UK. We really need to take them out to end this series and the war. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilya too, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.